As part of my research into buying an EV or hybrid, one complaint I heard was that, perhaps especially on the Toyota Yaris models, the 12 volt battery tended to die if the car wasn't used for a few weeks, then requiring a jump start from a battery pack or another car. And there's a lot in this, enough for its own separate video, not least because the problem is endemic to all cars, though more so with more recent models, as there's more going on literally under the hood. Let's start with the 12 volt battery itself, a lot smaller in hybrids and EVs than in traditional pure petrol cars because it doesn't need to be beefy enough to crank a starter motor, which is mainly why you don't hear of 12 volt depletion in those cars. The larger batteries can withstand much longer periods of inactivity. Now the 12 volt battery is used to run the car's lights, computers, air conditioning, usually. Cabin fan, engine pumps, fans, power steering, that sort of thing, the usual car stuff running at the usual car voltage throughout. Plus, in a hybrid or EV, it's used to activate the relays and safety systems that bring the much larger and potentially hazardous batteries sitting in the back or underneath the car online. This larger pack provides power for the electric motors as needed and crucially also repays the favour by recharging the 12 volt battery continuously when the car is on. It's a circular arrangement and generally works very well indeed. Now, what happens when you turn the car off? Importantly, it's never actually off. When parked on your drive, as here, ostensibly off, the 12 volt system is still active and running. The alarm and associated door and window sensors are powered. Also, the 4G data connection to the internet and your manufacturer's service, for example, to liaise with the app on your phone so you can see the car's status, location and perform various remote functions. There are the wireless security pings looking for your wireless key fob. There are the computer processors associated with all of the things just mentioned. And that's quite a bit going on, even if all of these represent relatively low power drains individually. It's not surprising they can add up to cause 12 volt battery low voltage after a week or so in this off state. And this is true for all hybrids and EVs, though Toyota seem a bit more susceptible. There has been some suspicion they used low quality 12 volt batteries for a while, though this is yet to be confirmed. Regardless, in normal operation, even driving the car for a few minutes once a week is enough to fully recharge the 12 volt battery from the hybrid or EV battery. In an extreme case, you wouldn't even need to drive the car. Merely powering it on on the drive is enough to get the batteries passing current. And of course, if the hybrid's main battery is low, then the engine might kick in for a minute. So thinking of a really extreme case um, for any hybrid or EV, let's say you fly off on holiday for two weeks and you don't want to risk the 12 volt battery being too low on your return to kickstart the car systems. If this were me, I'd give the key fob to a trusted neighbour or a friend and ask them to pop in once a week and turn the car on and just leave it on on the drive for 20 minutes then turn it off again and lock up. Job done. At worst case, if you leave a hybrid or EV too long without any operation and the 12 volt battery does get too low, then jump starting in traditional fashion will work. There's a red charging pin in most cars somewhere near the fuses under the bonnet for just such an occasion. And if you've got no donor car, then any starter battery pack from the likes of uh, Halfords or Amazon will also do just fine. I keep a big one in my boot for emergencies. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever leave my lovely Yaris Cross long enough to need it. So there we are. Don't believe the doom and gloom. And it's not a Toyota issue. It's just physics. It's how the tech works in modern cars. And now you know the ins and outs too. <laughs>